Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I am doing some recipe testing and I wanna bring you along. Right now I'm going to make a chicken pot pie casserole. Let's get started. This is a recipe that I saw on the internet and it got me to thinking and I wanted to do my own version of it. So I am starting with a shallot, as you can see. This is for the gravy that I'm about to make. Let's head over to the stove. Don't mind the stove, it's a little dirty, that's okay. So the recipe I saw online called for Campbell's cream of chicken soup. So instead of going that route, I am going to make a homemade gravy. So. That's why I'm going to start with butter and some shallots. Also, if you could see back here, a little earlier, I cooked up some chicken and I have it right here. I cooked up some chicken and I fried it and over it in that pan that I just showed you, I saved the drippings and added water and my Noor's bouillon powder to that. So that water mixture over there is going to be added to make our gravy because it's got great flavor in it. That's my theory or my thinking anyway. I'm just getting this butter melted. Start creating a roux. Oh wait, I totally forgot the shallot. You guys should have said something. Just kidding. Okay. And it doesn't have to be a shallot. If I don't have shallots, I just use whatever onion I have. You could skip it all together as well. I just feel like it gives gravy some nice flavor. Usually you want to add equal parts butter to equal parts flour, but of course I didn't measure it, so you just want to cook this off about a minute. Don't burn it though, which is why I keep stirring it. Now I'm going to add my liquid back in, or not in, but combine it. This is three cups that I, after I fried the chicken, I added three cups of water to the pan and three teaspoons of Noor's chicken powder. Oh, this is beautiful. I think we nailed it with my, my guess on the flour and uh, butter ratio. That is perfect. And I don't mind if this is a little thicker than even a typical gravy for the application that we're using it for. Of course, I'm not gonna add any salt to this because I salted and seasoned my chicken before I fried it. And then as you know, the Noor's bouillon powder has a lot of salt in it. So I am going to just add pepper. If you wanted to cut corners on this recipe, you could definitely use two cans of cream of chicken soup. I just thought I would try this. Seemed easy enough to do this step, so. Next up, I am going to hit this with a splash of heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna give this a try to see if we need to adjust it. 
I don't know if you can see me, but I'm going to give it a try. Mmm. That's perfect. It doesn't need anything. Wow, is that good. I'm just going to turn off the heat on that while we move on to our next step. Okay, I've got all my chicken chopped up that I showed you earlier. Let's move on to the next step. I'm just going to set this aside. This is my 13 by nine inch pan, as you can see, and I buttered it just a little bit. I wasn't sure if I needed to or not. Now I'm going to add in a 12 ounce bag of mixed vegetables, frozen. I feel like I should do two bags. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to add one more bag. Next, I'm going to add in all that chopped up chicken. Next, I'm going to pour in that lovely gravy that we made. Not sure if I'm going to use all of it or not. Let's give it a stir and see what we think. Yeah, I think I'm going to add the rest of it. And I think that'd be perfect. So that was three cups, like I said, plus the splash of heavy whipping cream there at the end. Okay, so I'm just going to get this all combined. I guess it wasn't necessary to grease this pan. I mean, look at the mess. I'm making so I don't even know if that mattered. Now for the topping, here we go. It is a stick of butter melted combined with a cup of bisquick. This is the grass fed butter from Costco. A cup of Bisquick and a cup of milk. I always buy whole milk, so that's what I'm using. I don't know if it matters. It is going to be lumpy and like watery. That's okay. That's how this is supposed to be at this point. Don't be alarmed. And we are just going to pour it over the top and not mix it in. You're just pouring it right on top. I am going to put this in a 400 degree oven for about 45 minutes and then we'll I'll take a look at it and see what I think of it. I'll let you know the exact baking temperature and what how long I baked it for but we will be back for a taste test. The pot pie casserole is out of the oven. Let's give it a taste test. Here we go. Hmm. Wow. Really good. Hmm. That is really good. The topping has a little bit of crunch. It's just, I don't know if crunch is the right word. It's a little crispy. 
It's really, really good. Chicken pot pie, comforting, delicious. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I can pop another video right here for you to check out between now and my next upload. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. I upload every other day and I can't wait to see you next time.